Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are with a repair. I'm on an empty house, and this is what happens when dogs get a little crazy with carpet. But first thing I'm doing is cutting this carpet out. And I'm going to clean up the mess. Now, this carpet was stuck to the tack strip that was in front, so that's going to have to get replaced. And I'm going to the closet to cut out the new fresh piece of carpet that we're going to be using for this repair. So this is, uh, some people have asked me like, you know, how do you, how do you match a carpet? Well, I get a generic piece of carpet that I always have in my van. And I'm going to show you that right now. That's the generic piece of carpet that I normally keep. And I just put that, that color. Now it's not going to match perfect when I'm doing a repair, but for these property management companies, I, I, I just put a random piece in the closet. They've never had any issues with that, but it's some somewhat similar, but I, here I'm using a really quick solution and I'll put links to the, to the products that I'm using, but this is just a peel and stick backing for carpet. They sell it at carpet stores. They sell it at Home Depot. I'll even put a link for that. If I, uh, I believe you can get it from Amazon. That'd probably be the easiest way to get it. But it literally, you just peel the top off. They, some of them, they have double-sided adhesive tape like that, but this is uh, single-sided. And so I just match up the carpet, tuck it in real nice and close. I use the carpet roller and super simple, tuck in the sides and the back and then cut off the excess. This is, I only use this in real simple stuff like in closets that aren't going to be using a lot of traffic area and that's that was that and so now i got to clean this area up and so i want to make sure that everything is nice and clean and my favorite tool i i don't have it here because the battery wasn't charged but I use a hot glue gun for a lot of these repairs and I'm going to start showing more repairs on how I do that with my hot glue gun. I have a Ryobi hot glue gun that I just charge the battery, hook it up and I use it on probably 85% of my jobs. It's super cool. Most people, I don't know what they use, but it's stuff that I've kind of developed and works really, really well for me. But I got to remove some of this old tack strip. I mean, these carpets really needed to, needed to be replaced. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button because this is part one. Part two is the carpet cleaning. And I have an amazing trick for you guys. Some, some people aren't going to like it, but I got an amazing trick for you guys on how to get these rat nasty carpets clean and that the industry won't tell you. Now I forgot my my hammer so I had to improvise and this is how I how I hammered these nail these nails in but they worked just fine. I was able to get the tack strip in there with no problems and it worked out great. Now, once I got the, the area prepped, the next part is getting the cuts in from the door. Sometimes I know some people will take the door out to make it easier, but you know, this is a property management company. I try to get in and out as quick as possible for, for a repair like this, you're looking at like a hundred bucks and it takes a little less than an hour to get this done. I was able to get this done probably within 30, 40 minutes minus the record time. So this is a video for you guys. And so, yeah, just get the cut in, slip it right underneath the door and that is ready to go. Now I'm not going to use the pill and stick tape for this one because there's going to be a lot more traffic coming in and out of this door. So I'm going to use actual heat tape and a heat gun or a heat, uh, a heat iron that you can get. I'll put a link 
an Amazon link. It's an affiliate link. It helps me with this channel if you use those Amazon links. So to throw that out there, but I'll put that link in the description. But yeah, you just put this in and heat it up. And I like using the heat tape just because it seems like it, it fuses the carpet a lot better together and it like melts. And so when you use that roller, it just comes together really nicely. And one of the issues that I've always had is either turning the this iron up too hot or having it not hot enough, but just getting, if it's too hot, it'll, it'll melt too quick and it gets all, it gets all nasty and just it, it, the glue starts to spread everywhere. So I kind of put it in between. I go back and forth with the heat, but obviously the hotter it is, the quicker you can go. But with this, I, I had it on medium heat. Worked perfect. And I'm gonna show you a trick too with the hot glue gun for the ends, especially for underneath the door because I wasn't able to get this hot glue gun underneath the door or not the hot glue gun. I didn't, I wasn't able to get the, the heat iron underneath the door. So I got a little trick with the hot glue gun. And I tell you what, my favorite tool is the hot glue gun. I do a big portion of my repairs with it. And I'll start sharing a little bit more with the hot glue gun. I just did one earlier today and I recorded that with my GoPro and it was a a repair on stairs and so I will sh I will have that video up and running here in the next uh, by the next time we we talk after the carpet cleaning so here I'm just cleaning it up cutting the excess and then I'm gonna cut the end here so I just fold that back cut a little I, I, I try not to cut too too far back because then I, I, I like to tuck it. No point intended. Get target out of here. It's not tuck it target. But I like to tuck this carpet in that lip between the tack strip and the tile. So what I do is cut a little extra and then I use the hot glue gun and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that right now. Carpet is coming in pretty nice. And then I got my carpet scissors. And so I'll use that hot glue gun on the tack strip along with in between the lip of, in between where that, that strip is and the tile. And then I tuck that in and it really has a nice bond. That's why you wanna make sure it's as clean as possible. There's no dust. And once that's in there, that's not coming out. And I just run that all the way down and I get those excess areas. I tell you, ever since I started doing this, I have never had an issue where the carpet has come up or has slid back. And it's been one of my easiest repairs. And then the parts of the carpet that I wasn't able to get with that heat iron, I used the hot glue gun and I'm able to get those seamed in on the smaller areas.
behind the door that's really where the area was where i wasn't able to get with that heat gun so since i am no longer using the heat gun i'm letting that cool off i'm just really putting that hot glue where the seam tape is and then rolling it down cutting the excess here and then tucking the rest down in between a little bit of glue and that is not coming out So that is my repair and that's what it looks like. I want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. I'll catch you on the next video.